Hi guys, um, so today we're going to talk about a concept by Ben Settle. I mean, I'm sure it's a concept that has been talked about before, um, but Ben Settle put it very well in uh, many of his books that if you have um, writing anxiety and you don't know what to write and you have writer's block, and the whole thing about writing becomes a stressful situation, then basically what's happening is you're not doing enough research. And by research, it could mean a variety of things. Sometimes research means, for example, let's say that you're selling a book rereading the book and taking notes about the book facts about the book that you can share in your ad and turn into promises um, if the product is not a book but let's say i don't know a vacuum cleaner so going into the literature of the vacuum cleaner yeah to get all these features that are in the in the catalog or in the brochures and turning them into benefits um, talking to salespeople in that same that are selling the same product that's a good way of doing research as well because the people that are selling let's say again the vacuum cleaner let's say that you are selling it online or you're writing an ad for it that's going to go online and on print would be a good idea to go to a vacuum cleaner shop and buy one of the salespeople a you know buy them lunch or something and then sit with them and ask them questions you know what are customers usually uh, looking for what stops the sale you know are they looking for a warranty are they looking for brands are they looking for, um, I don't know, um, a sturdy construction that looks sturdy, you know? Or are they just shopping for price? You know, the lowest price always wins, you know? So um, that's something that you could do. You could go to forums online as well and read what the forums have to have to say about that particular product or even your competition's product. So that's another thing that you can do for research is look at your competition's ads, look at your competition's brochures and literature and look at what the customers of your competition are saying. And maybe you can get ideas or you can even say something negative about the competition, even if you're not mentioning them by name but saying for example our vacuum cleaners don't need expensive uh bags you know dust bags that are have to be replaced you know uh, we just use a container that can be emptied as many times as possible and you don't need a disposable bag that you have to buy new every time something like that right as an advantage to your product and the ad that I have in front of me is an ad by Victor Schwab, who is a famous copywriter. He wrote a book called How to Write a Good Advertisement. Um, and uh, the reason I put this ad here is because it's, um, it's not a flashy ad. It was a very successful ad. It sold a lot of products, but uh, the ad, if you look at it, it's very plain Jane, so to speak. Uh, uh, the, um, uh, it's not flashy. The, it's not in your face. It's not hard sales or anything like that. It's just a very well-structured ad with effective headlines that are not screaming at you. And... Um, if you are a copywriter, you should own Victor Schwab's, Victor Schwab's book, and it has um, in the 
in the beginning chapters it has a bunch of different headlines that you can repurpose reuse um you know rewrite you don't want to use the headline of somebody else word for word but you can repurpose it so for example this headline says a message to bookkeepers wishing to earn a hundred dollars a week if you're selling violins you could say a message to violinists wishing to play faster or wishing to play more in tune or a message to teachers wishing to prepare lessons easier well that's not very short but i w i would <laughs> i would have to rewrite it but um you get the idea a message to teachers wish wishing to only spend an hour preparing for class right or a message to teachers also wishing to earn more something like that you have a lot of different things that you can do with a headline like this and he has dozens of headlines in his book and i get no money from <laughs> recommending this book i'm just recommending it because he is a master and ben settle is a master and they both deserve uh, to be recognized for the work they've done yeah and then you have the other sub headlines inside the text also kind of plain but very very effective here it says why accountants are needed now how simple is that and basically he's promising you a job but instead of saying um you know why you can get a job in f in two weeks or something like that that it that would be maybe more uh, salesy he does something that is just as effective but just a little bit calmer and sometimes your customers don't want that salesy copy it's unfortunate but that happens a lot yeah i think that sometimes when the customer doesn't want to be salesy and doesn't want to be in your face it's because deep down unconsciously very often they are not comfortable with their own product they don't think that their product is helping the consumer as much as the products of the competition right so uh that's a subconscious thing people just want to know no i don't want to be salesy well listen if your product is the best and your product is guaranteed to help most of the people that buy it then it is actually your humanitarian duty to sell as strongly as possible because you want to help as many people as possible so um uh, yeah so that's one case but the other case is for example this ad is for accounting um for accountants bookkeepers and bookkeepers uh, as a stereotype i don't know if this is true uh but it seems to be they're more the calm type they're more the safe type and they're not necessarily you know they tend to be bookworms that kind of thing and they just sit you know on their desk you know uh, doing numbers and the, the numbers don't argue with them and uh, you know it's just uh, it's a different type of person right so maybe victor schwab was also appealing to that particular demographic right okay so check out ben settles work and check out victor schwab's works as well uh, very much worth the money